this week. With Max Mustard and Metal Helsinger already out, in Arizona Sunshine Remake, Vendetta Forever, Rebeloid, Wanderer, The Fragments of Fate, Deadland 2, Phasmophobia, and Starship Troopers Continuum, all planned for later this month, it's nice, at least for me, that we have a week off with no new releases. Although I'm sure something will drop unexpectedly and ruin that. In the meantime, we have plenty of updates for existing games, including an update for Gran Turismo 7, out now, featuring three new cars and an extra menu added to the cafe. An update for Cube VR, adding tons of new things to craft, along with some new music and haptic support. A new swarm mode for Paint the Town Red VR, and finally some new DLC for Beat Saber will drop this week as well, featuring Britney Spears. As a first-person survival horror exploration game, Death Relives will force you to enter a nightmarish world where surviving a long-forgotten god is the ultimate challenge. Explore real historical places from Aztec mythology as you utilize unique combat and stealth mechanics to fight against an ancient Aztec god. The announcement that Death Relives, a flat-screen PlayStation 5 game, would also be playable on PSVR 2 kind of came out of nowhere a few months back. And this week over on Reddit, Dev stated that they're looking at a January release window. With System Critical 2 being a pretty basic first-person shooter on PSVR 2, it's great to see that the one-man dev team over at Old Formulas is already hard at work on a bigger, better-looking sequel, having posted these nice-looking videos of upcoming System Critical 3 on our Discord. There's a real appetite for racing games on PSVR 2, and that's an appetite developer Zokus is looking to satiate with their upcoming buggy car racer, Exocars. But what's even better is that PSVR 2 gamers came out in full force saying they wanted wheel support for Exocars, which led to the devs changing their message, and from saying that they'll look into wheel support to now promising that wheel support will be there right from launch. That said, the PSVR 2 launch has been pushed out of October into November, with Zokus citing the need for some multiplayer adjustments. What in the? Was that my voice? After seeing the most recent trailer, it's suddenly impossible not to be excited for Metro Awakening. Capitalizing on this, Vertigo released this six minute gameplay video alongside a new article on the PlayStation blog detailing some of the game's more VRAF mechanics, citing the usefulness of your watch, having to wipe the fogged lenses of your gas mask, and needing to wind your flashlight occasionally to charge it back up, all staples from the flat screen Metro games that seem perfectly suited for VR. And of course, the PSVR 2 version will feature plenty of enhancements not seen on other headsets, like adaptive trigger support for firing weapons, headset haptics for explosions and enemy attacks, not to mention the dark blacks of the PSVR 2's OLED panel, making the darkness from the tunnels far more effective. Always a great week when Gaijin Entertainment shares more Aces of Thunder gameplay footage with us. And this week there's a new 40 second clip highlighting the Japanese Air Force. Let's check it out.
last time we heard from A2D, they didn't even have a PSVR 2 dev kit yet. Well, since then, things have changed drastically. And over on Twitter, he showed off this clip of Subside up and running on PSVR 2 at 90 frames native using DFR, and even mentioning how the PlayStation 5 Pro could further enhance the console version with water surface transparencies and dynamic shadows. Hopefully, he can make full use of the Sense Controller haptics to drive the immersion in Subside through the roof. It's been 25 years since Kondathu. We've exterminated countless bugs. But the most dead The bug hunt is about to begin in Starship Troopers Continuum that'll push you and your squad to the limits. As part of an elite three-person squad, you'll need to collect resources, upgrade your gear, and unlock powerful perks to enhance your chances against increasingly deadly foes. But beware, death is permanent, so once you're down, it's up to your team to survive. Or start from scratch. Last week I speculated that the big Starship Troopers announcement would be a PSVR 2 mode for the flat screen game Starship Troopers Extermination that's about to drop, but I was way off. This brand new VR only multiplayer roguelite is set to launch on PSVR 2 October 31st. My favorite month of the year and 31 days full of excuses to watch horror movies and play horror games, I'm happy that October's here. But it's irritating that some of my favorite VR horror experiences are trapped on PSVR 1, which I unhooked a while back and still haven't gotten around to setting back up again. One of my favorites was Home Sweet Home, a terrifying stealth horror game based on Thai mythology, meaning it doesn't tend to follow the traditional horror tropes, well, not North American ones anyway. Despite one serious game-breaking bug and only using the DualShock 4, Home Sweet Home was awesome and deserves to get a proper PSVR 2 port with better graphics, sense control support, and fewer bugs. Plus, there's a sequel that added new enemies in combat, so hey, let's do this thing right and bring it all over. Every week, our good friend Professor Lilith organizes a multiplayer meetup over on our Discord. It happens every Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern, and this week, we'll be playing Online Casino Simulator Vegas Infinite. If you can't make this week's meetup, don't worry. It happens every Sunday at the same time. So, make sure you click the link in the description below. Come join our Discord. This week. 